Don't talk to me before my coffee. Chocolate and robed yellow cake donut. How decadent. Ah, <coughs> oh, it's a beautiful day. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Car Sick, and that is totally correct. It is a beautiful day. We had a cold front come through here last night and Florida and it is a chilly 63 degrees right now. I am swinging by the post office this morning to mail out some stickers. Oh jeez, I dropped them. Oh no. So if you want a sticker, go check out my Instagram. Alright, made it back to the shop. First thing I'm going to do is make my little plugs for these, what do you call them, buckets? I grounded the other one clean, so I got two good ones here, and I'm going to make my plugs out of some of this eighth inch, eighth inch plate. Actually, I have some some of this. It's a little it might be better to make it out of this than my plate. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I just made a little base real quick. Turn my horizontal into vertical. Sweet! Alright, here they are. They look like washers. I made washers. I spent an hour making washers. That'll work. Okay, I got the subframe up here and figure this is a nice fixed hard points right here that I can just build from. I don't have to do a bunch of measuring and fiddling and then I can build my own, my tube that goes across. So I made these uh, quick little spacers uh, three quarters just to get them up above the thread. And put those on there. Pretty tight. Not going to move around a whole lot. Thank <laughs> you. 
All I gotta do is build my tube that goes across there, and that'll space them perfectly at 600 millimeters. That's a wobbly ass table. Boom. Now I just gotta fish mouth it. Fish mouth. Alright, it's welded. I could uh, smell the rubber burning when I was welding this thing. You can see it coming out a little bit right there. Not bad. Pretty happy with that. That's going to live right there somewhere. I don't even know how long I just took. An hour at least? Just setting this thing up. I got every clamp that I own on this thing pretty much. I'm trying to get this thing the right height and the right distance and man, oh man. I got a center line here, it's on my center line there, that matches up. I got my measurement from the book is from the front of this tube to the center of the uh, hole, which obviously is kind of hard to measure, so I'm, I'm measuring to the back of this, which I'm adding a, a half inch to that center line. And uh, yeah, I'm spaced off that way. I'm center this way. I'm right, right, uh, right height. All these doodads. This thing is supposed to be the same height as this one. So, I mean, we're good there. I mean, it might be... I mean, you know, it might be a couple mil shorter but I actually kind of made it difficult because I didn't make these it actually called for these buckets to be an inch so they'd match match the tube I actually had them a little bit longer I didn't trim them down but I like the way I can get more weld in there that way it just made it more difficult to line this up I could have just ran this one guy all the way across and then clamped that tube to it but you know oh well this looks cool right it looks like I know what I'm doing <laughs> Look at all that math! The first cut I'm going to do to try and attach this to the chassis is one that goes across here. There's going to be two, one here and one here. Um, now I got 40 degrees on one side, 39 degrees on the other, and then this one right here is leaned back 17 degrees. So that's that means another compound cut right here. So this is up 17 degrees, and this 39 degrees right there. These compound cuts are complicated, I tell you. <laughs> Hello, Diaforincho. You're hanging. I got some poly bushings for that. I don't know if I'm going to use... I didn't put them in yet because I don't know if I'm going to use this exact diff. I might get a 1.8. Oh man, oh man. Oh man, oh man. Got to fully, fully weld it. Put this thing about fit in there. about two two degrees down just resting on the table there 
All these little tiny ones right here were a pain in their butt. Let me tell you. Fish mouth in these things. But it's in. Now I got, there's two supports that go here. And there's also another support here and here. And I think that's it for the rear end. Minus the control arm pickup points. And then there's some plates that go here. Oh, and there's another bar that goes down to this. Man, this is sweet. This is sweet. Hope I got enough room for a fuel tank. Sweet! I think that's it for today. I made a big mess. I had lots of measuring tools out. Man, that looks good. So much better than the uh, subframe. Oh, I gotta make the, there's another trans tunnel. And then whatever I'm gonna support that, the front diff with, I gotta make. Because the PPF is no longer there. So I need the front diff support. All right, the last video, I got a bunch of comments about what you guys want to build. Lots of crazy stuff. You guys are nuts. I love it. I freaking love it. I love all these crazy-ass builds. I never even thought of half of them. It's amazing. I think tomorrow morning before I come to the shop, I'm going to put all the... Uh, put everyone's name into random.org and do that whole thing and pick somebody, and then that thing will ship out maybe tomorrow if I get to the post office. <laughs> Thank you for commenting. That was amazing. I will do another one of those shortly. That was a lot of fun. I'll do more of that kind of stuff. Um, also, don't forget to go check out my Instagram. I give away stuff on there as well. Right now, I'm doing stickers. So find the post, follow the directions, and maybe you'll get a sticker. And so, you know, that's it for me. So I will catch you on the flip. Bye. Bye-bye.